the live pictures that you're seeing there on Capitol Hill where President Obama is getting ready to attend a meeting with House Democrats and try and personally convince them to support a critical trade bill. It's set for a vote just a couple of hours from now. And joining me now, the moderator of Meet the Press, Chuck Todd. Chuck, how are you? I'm pretty good. Hey, so Pardon? how important is this? I mean, this is pretty unusual to see the President of the United States last night at the uh, congressional right. softball game, taking selfies with everybody, walking around the, the field. And there, look at these pictures. I mean, uh, this could be a campaign stop, but it's actually <laughs> where uh, Republicans and Democrats, House members are playing softball and today heading over to Capitol Hill. What's what's going on? Well, I tell you, Jose, the fact that that this is that a presidential visit to the Hill is so is considered rare in year seven of a presidency is a reminder i think of just how much this administration in particular has struggled managing congressional relationships on either side of the aisle we've always been focused lately on the on the rough relations between this white house and congressional republicans but it's not as if this white house has had great relationships with congressional democrats and by the way if this thing goes down um, that's where the roots of this going down um, uh, came from. That's where they, they, they sort of grew out from is this what has been just terrible tending to of, of even allies on Capitol Hill by this president. Has he been working for a while now on the Democrats? Because it seems as though if you just take this as a cold analysis and you're saying now, you know, three hours yeah. before the, uh, the vote, uh, you know, he goes to the Capitol, or has he been behind the scenes working with Democrats? No, they have been working behind the scenes. I mean, this isn't a case that he hasn't been doing that. Um, no, that's been done. And hey, look, I'll tell you, it is amazing watching House Democrats. Um, they're shooting at each other in ways that we haven't seen this Democratic Party in, in the House of Representatives do in a long time. Um, frankly, they look like the way Senate, uh, they look like the way the conservatives uh, in the House caucus fight with each other normally and make John Boehner's life miserable. You're now seeing that same effort, I think, playing out here. And look, we do know a majority of House Democrats are going to be against this deal. And I think part of it is while the, the, while later Labor has less influence today in American politics than they've had um, since the creation of the movement uh, as a political force. Among the House Democrats, they still have influence because of gerrymandering. So many House Democrats represent strong Democratic districts that Labor's threat of primaries and things like that have teeth because they can do that. It's no, it's similar to say a club for growth on the right who really can't have an impact right. in a general election but can in a primary. And Chuck, let's talk about ISIS, this new policy.